Hi, Lego Sam1234 here coming at you um, on the 1st of December with a couple of things. Uh, so, yeah, this morning I unwrapped my advent calendar, which my mum had wrapped up for me. Um, it is a really cool calendar. I have seen it before because I bought it. Well, I didn't buy it, but I got it when in one of my hauls. Um, and it's really cool. Uh, you get the two exclusive figures, which is the Santa Mall and the Snowman R2-D2. You do get all these figures with it. Um, you get some really cool looking figures and the different models which you see around the side. Um, so I've already opened up today's. I have to turn it upside down to see it. If not. And there we go. Um, so the days are all mixed up. You can't see the top row because it's not fitting on the camera. Uh, but I've opened day one. And in it you get the mini Naboo... Uh, sub, uh, the Gun Gun sub. This set was re-released this earlier this year, um, and yeah, uh, it's really cool. It's really nice detail. Uh, so it's just a little thing, and you do get a little pond area scene, which you can put all your figures on. That can be coming out the ice and stuff. And there's the R2D2. You can see him there. So yeah, that's the advent calendar. I won't be reviewing it like every day, but I will be showing you it, uh, or the finished review on um, 24th of December, so that's something to look forward to. And next up, I got a little parcel. Now, yeah, I know it's unlucky to unwrap before Christmas, but this is a Christmas themed set and I want to put it up with decorations, so my mum's wrapped it up. Uh, you would have seen this in a previous haul, uh, but I'm, in, this in this video I'm going to be building and reviewing it. Uh, the paper, by the way, is reused from last year. So I'm just going to get this open. And I do know what this is, and you might recognise it. Let me get it out. There we go. And this is the 2012 limited edition Christmas set. Uh, I am doing it now because I want to build it up and put it up for the holidays. It being December the 1st, so uh, it's a really cool set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build this. And I will be back with you um, in a minute when I've built it. Okay, so I finished building the set. And here it is. It is really cool. Uh, it's got some really good elements. Uh, some brand new ones to me. Um, so you do get a load of spare pieces. Um, here they are. Oops. Um, you do get various elements. Um, this little plant piece. Um, and a little tap piece, so they're really cool um, uh, for spare pieces. You do get quite a lot in this set, um, so I'll just get rid of those. Um, so the box uh, is basic. I did show you this earlier. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the box, and you do get one instruction manual um, for this set. Okay, so on to the minifigures. First up, we have the old gentleman, um, the probably the sleigh driver. He's really cool. He's got the shirt and tie, um, which is really nice. Um, sorry, I just focus that for you. Uh, I haven't got this shirt and tie, so it's new to me. And he has the old wizard's face and the top hat. So that's a really cool figure. Uh, next up, we have the woman, and this torso was used in Pharaoh's Quest. Um, she has the black hair, the smiling face, and the jeans. So she's a really nice figure too. Uh, then we have the children. We have the little girl. Uh, I haven't got this torso piece, so that's new to me. And she has the purple legs, which is also new. Uh, she has the brown hair and the little kitty smiley face. And then, finally, we have uh, the little boy. And again, they have the same. They have the same face. There you go. Um, and this figure's got ginger hair, and he's got the little coat on with the short little legs. So, um, all in all, uh, figures are really good, and you do get uh, quite a lot for a free set. So you get the four figures, and I'll show you those in the set in a bit. Uh, you also get one of the new horses um, commonly used in the Lord of the Rings sets. Um, this horse, uh, the special thing about these new horses is they can rear up 
and the heads do move as the old ones did um, there you go so it can rear up and stand like that or you can have it like this now this horse does have a feet uh, not a feature does have a thing where you can attach it to the sleigh Just, uh, but I'll show you that in a bit and it has got some nice printing and you do get a, a whip for the man to use next up we have the sleigh uh, this is a really nice sleigh I really like it um, it's got some good details uh, you can fit the figures in uh, and what you can do is you can take the horse and uh, you take this piece out and you put this piece in uh, it's not going in one second bear with me um, you put that in, but you've got to put this in first. Uh, I suppose you could do it any way around, but this gives it a more level thing. So you pop this in, um, and then you pop these brown pieces on top of it. And I'll just pop those in there. Bear with me. There we go. And then you take the flat piece off this one, and you take it off, and then you just pop that on the top and then that attaches the horse to the sleigh. Uh, the sleigh can fit most of the figures in. I think you can fit three in, possibly four. And uh, you've got the man here, put the woman in the back, and then you can put a child in, if you wish. So yeah, you can fit some figures in, um, just leaving one out. Uh, but you do get this really nice, this, I, this is the best bit for me, a uh, nice park area you get the really cool bench we have seen this design before but it's always nice uh, you get two mini Christmas trees these are new elements for me uh, but I really like them and you also get the little uh, uh, street lamp and this element this lamp piece itself is new to me and so are the see-through heads and you can fit a couple of people on the bench um, but it is really nice all snowy and everything uh, so yeah that is the set in its entirety and to be honest with you for a free gift I think it's amazing um, and I don't think you could really ask for much more in a free gift so thanks for watching please rate come and subscribe uh, don't forget I am doing a hundred videos before Christmas so it will not be like a hundred video on Christmas so there's gonna be lots of festive things coming some stop motions etc in the Christmas period so thanks for watching please rate and subscribe check out my other videos and I'll see you later bye bye